Wow, we can do things on short notice here. <laughs> well, welcome everyone. It's uh, great to have you here. I want to um, thank you for making your way to the Betts Theater. And we have a special announcement today. Today we are announcing that the Board of Trustees unanimously elected the 17th president of the George Washington University, Dr. Thomas LeBlanc. Over the past nearly seven months, we have worked hard to find a proven leader who can bring GW to new heights. I believe we have found the ideal person to lead the university as we enter our third century. The board made its decision and official vote today after unanimous recommendation from the search committee and in consultation with the elected faculty consultative committee and the faculty senate executive committee. Both committees met with the board um, after meeting with Dr. LeBlanc and gave their wholehearted endorsement of Dr. LeBlanc to be the next president. Before I formally introduce President-elect LeBlanc, I want to introduce and thank Madeline Jacobs, who chaired the Presidential Search Committee. Madeline also serves as the chair of the Board of Trustees Committee on Academic Affairs, she is the chair of the board's committee on presidential selection and transition. And I just have to say that Madeline's efforts on this search were unbelievable. And I wanna thank her personally, and I think as a community, we need to thank Madeline for everything she did. And with that, Madeline Jacobs. Thank you, Nelson, and thank you for your incredible leadership. From the very beginning of this process, you insisted on a transparent and inclusive process, and the search, committees, the search committee feels we have delivered on your charge. I also want to thank the vice chair of the committee, Dr. Alan Greenberg, who's over here, who is chair of the Department of Epidemiology and Biostatistics in the Milken School of Public Health for his leadership. Thank you, Alan. Lots of thank yous, including a lot of you in this room who I recognize from the town halls that we had. I want to thank the Faculty Consultative Committee for their important advice and guidance. We also benefited from more than 30 town halls and meetings with faculty, students, staff, and alumni, and it was as well as leaders from the community. And it was what we heard at those meetings that helped us develop the presidential profile that we used to advertise this position. And I am so pleased to say that everyone believes that Dr. LeBlanc fits this profile to the letter. The search committee, which represented faculty, staff, trustees, alumni, and students, was unanimous in its support of Dr. LeBlanc because of his extensive experience as an effective and inspiring university leader. In Dr. LeBlanc, we saw a person who will elevate GW's academic excellence, enhance the student experience, and ensure that the university remains a diverse and inclusive partner with every segment of the university and local communities. And as a GW alumna, I'm so proud that he will be our next president. Thank you very much, and Nelson. Thank you, Madeline. So before I introduce Dr. LeBlanc, I just wanted to say a few things um, about what we've gone through in the last six months as a community. Um, although the board today elected Dr. LeBlanc as the 17th president, it was really all of us that shaped what our desires were, what our aspirations were, what our challenges were. And together, we put together, I think, a, a really great picture of what the George Washington University can be in the future. We've reached great heights under Steve Knapp, and we expect to do even greater things under Dr. LeBlanc. Tom LeBlanc has served as the Executive Vice President and Provost and Professor of Computer Science and Electrical and Computer Engineering at the University of Miami. At Miami, Tom is both the Chief Academic Officer and the Chief Budget Officer. 
He is credited with improving the academic quality of incoming undergraduates, increasing research funding, significantly increasing the number of faculty in the national academies, and a dramatic rise in the national rankings. Before arriving in Miami, Tom rose through the academic ranks at the University of Rochester, where he was a faculty member, department chair, vice provost, and dean. As we went through the process of selecting the next president and reached the end, we had to do a lot of work to make sure that Tom LeBlanc was the right person. I spoke at length with Donna Shalala, former president at the University of Miami, and the former Secretary of Health and Human Services, who worked closely with Tom for many years. If any of you have had the pleasure of talking to Donna for two hours on the phone, you don't need to say much. Donna noted the many accomplishments that she achieved because she had Tom at her side. She emphasized his fair-mindedness, his commitment to excellence, and his unfailing commitment to the well-being and happiness of the students at the University of Miami. Many other calls were made, and what we got over and over again was that Tom was someone who, in the computer science world, we call WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. Tom, I think that you'll find our community to be warm and welcoming and always exciting, although I hesitate to use the word warm right now for somebody from Miami. We're a dynamic and diverse community committed to generating the next generation of global leaders. I also wanna take a moment to recognize and thank Steve and Diane Knapp for their commitment and decade of service to the George Washington University. GW's growth during your tenure, Steve, is evident to anyone who steps foot on our campus. And the board has honored your service and achievement by conferring the title of President Emeritus and University Professor on you. The university community came together, and at the outset of this process, we committed to conduct a vigorous national search to find an exceptional leader to build on the progress made under the leadership of President Stephen Knapp. And I believe that we have fulfilled that promise. Thank you, Steve. Now please join me in giving Tom and his wife, Anne LeBlanc, a warm GW buff and blue welcome. Tom. Thank you so much for that warm welcome. Uh, thank you, Nelson. Thank you, Madeline. And thank you to the Board of Trustees for the confidence they've placed in me. Uh, I've really enjoyed meeting the faculty, staff, all the consultative committees, and everyone, frankly, I've met at GW has been extremely warm and welcoming, and I, I very much appreciate that. Uh, I want to offer a special note of thanks to my lovely wife, Ann, for whom this has been a roller coaster ride that's taken place for a very short period of time. And all along the way, she's been incredibly supportive and said, it's on to a new adventure. Uh, so, so here we are today. Um, I spent 22 years at the University of Rochester, so I know cold. Um, this isn't cold. Um, I grew up in upstate New York, and I went to grad school in Wisconsin, so I know snow. Last night, that was not snow. So believe you me, I spent 12 years at Miami, but the rest of my life, I was in much worse weather than this. So this is actually uh, an improvement over the average of my life. Um, Nelson introduced me as WYSIWYG. I think that's the first time I've been formally introduced that way. Uh, <laughs> but I do try to live my life that way. What you see is what you get. And that's what I told the search committee from the beginning, uh, because if this is what you want, you won't be disappointed. Um, this is a great honor for me. Uh, I've spent my entire life in higher education. The story of my life is at age five, I left home to go to school, and every step of the way, I never took a break. High school to college, college to graduate school, graduate school, within a week and a half I was teaching, uh, because I love it. I believe in the transformative power of higher education in the United States. 
I believe we have the best system of higher education in the world, and I believe it is the strongest force for social mobility in the United States. And that's what gets me up in the morning, being a part of that. Um, I think many of our faculty and students uh, would agree with me on that. Uh, that's why a lot of our students are here, and that's the reason why a lot of faculty are able to be here. And to come to a place as distinguished as George Washington University at this moment in time in this great city is not only a great honor, it's a great challenge, but it's an incredibly excitable, exciting adventure, um, one that I'm very much looking forward to. Uh, I've had a chance to get to know the university a bit over the years through various professional engagements, but more intensely uh, in the last few weeks as a part of the process. And I do want to credit Madeline, the search committee, for designing a great process. Every step of the way, it was a little experiment in how to be a president. And so I've learned a lot through this process, and I want to thank you for that as well. Um, there is a special opportunity here. Uh, I do think that George Washington University, in the heart of our nation's capital and founded on the vision of our nation's uh, first president, uh, is an incredibly distinctive and distinguished opportunity. And I have to say, I am really humbled by the opportunity here. Uh, I've done a lot in higher education, and uh, this is something that uh, I didn't know if I'd ever decide to do. I had a great job in Miami. The weather's pretty nice. Uh, and I, every search firm who called, I said, it will take an incredible opportunity to get me to move. But when they called about GW, the first thing I thought was, this is one of those incredible opportunities. Um, so I'm here today. Uh, what I will pledge to you is I will spend a lot of time listening. Um, I don't come in with a master plan template that I've applied in all my previous jobs. What I come in with is uh, extensive experience in higher education, a pretty good knowledge of the landscape of higher education, and how to apply some basic principles um, to institutions. But I believe every institution has its own unique characteristics, traditions, histories, and community. And all of those things help define best um, future pathways for the institution. So we're very much looking forward, my wife and I, to getting to know the entire community, faculty, students, staff, the surrounding members of the DC community, uh, and working together with you to continue to build on the excellence of this university, and frankly, to look forward with tremendous excitement to the bicentennial, uh, which is coming up in a few short years. Um, so thank you, first of all, for turning out on such a balmy day, uh, but also on the heels of the holidays. Um, I appreciate you being here. I appreciate the warm welcome, and I'm very much looking forward to working with all of you. So thank you. Okay, so Tom, we want to welcome you in GW colonial style. You better get used to this. Here we go. So I want to thank everyone for coming. Uh, have a happy 2017, and uh, we look forward to an exciting new future here at George Washington University. Thank you very much. <laughs>